Hello Virgo, this is a general love reading for a number of people. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over and shuffled the cards. We're gonna pull three from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Archangel Power Tarot deck. And one from John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the heart. Then last two from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels deck. Okay. So I'm getting that a number of you are, are in a relationship, and, and if you look at this first card, you've got Eight of Michael. If you can read that, it says you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation. Um, and, and it says that you're, you're not seeing things clearly. So I'm getting for some of you that you're just, you're feeling completely trapped in a bad relationship, a bad cycle with someone. For some of you, I get that. Um, actually, they just they just pointed out the rope down here. That that you're in a you're in a vicious circle of arguments. You're in a vicious circle of, of repeated behavior with your partner. Um, and although you're fed up with it, you you feel you feel trapped because you you're just not seeing how to escape it. But you're not trapped. I'm getting that that really is just it's just an illusion that you, you just need to look past your fears and open the gate and walk through it. And I get that you're gonna have your opportunity to do that. And I get for some of you, it, it's, you've stayed stuck because you don't, you're afraid of, so for some of you that, you know, you're in a committed relationship, you're, you're afraid of being alone. You're afraid of, you know, how am I gonna be able to take care of myself, my kids? Uh, how am I gonna be able to do this on my own? And you're also afraid of being alone. And so, so you're lacking the confidence. And, and for some of you, I get that, you know, you're in a relationship, it's kind of like newer relationship. It, it's like you keep staying stuck in that, that vicious circle of behavior with that with your partner that you're not happy with because it's, I get that you have like some false hope that it's going to get better and it's not so open yourself up to the the divine guidance the intuition that you're getting and, and trust that open up the gate and walk through to the better things that are awaiting you on the other side and I do get that you will get that you will um, you'll step back into your own power you will have confidence and the fears and worries about moving forward will be gone so that you can indeed step away from this toxic relationship I, I get that it's, it's it's a toxic relationship that you you are believing you're stuck in but you're not and I do get that March is the month you're going to completely walk away from it. And they are encouraging you to do that because there are better things that, that await you. Next card we have is Ace of Ariel. And if you can read the bottom of it, it reads, It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. So I'm getting it for a number of you. So for some of you that are worried about money, finances, this is to let you know that there are no concerns with that. You, you'll be financially taken care of. So don't let that hold you back from reaching your dreams um, and letting go of that which is not serving you. But I'm getting for others of you that you are. You're, I, I get you're gonna get a, a promotion. You're starting a new business. It's very successful. I just get that financial abundance is just flowing in on you. And and I get that it's because it, it's a new venture that you have done. And so, so what I'm getting is you're not so focused, for those of you in this situation, you're not really focused on love. You're just kind of focused on you and taking care of business and, and getting work done. And you're just, I get for, this, for those of you that this is a message, you're not even paying attention to love. You're just kind of like, eh, okay, emotions. So like if you look at the water in this card, you know, those emotional things, eh, those are behind me. I'm not really paying attention to that right now. And I do get that's a message for a number of you that, that are single. So it, it's not that it's going to cause any conflict in your relationship. It's almost as though you're just eh, putting love, romance on hold because you're just focused on you and work and, and things are going really well. So you're, you're not even paying attention to the career sector. I mean, you're not even paying attention to the romance sector because you're focused on your career right now. And, and that's going to be your primary focus. Now I am getting for a number of you. So this is a major arcana. Major arcanas are, are big shifts in life. Your minor arcana are, are, are daily, you know, operations functions. But the major arcana, these are huge shifts. So I get a large number of you. Your dreams are going to start coming true. You've gotten rid of all the baggage, all the emotion, all those things that are holding you back. The difficult situation that you have been in, be it for some of you, you know, there's been conflict and uh, disagreements with your partner that you'll be stepping away from or you have recently stepped from 
for some of you, you know, it's, you know, past emotional traumas and hurts, but you, you're now back to a place of being healed. You're ready to have your dreams come true. You have that confidence back in yourself. For some of you, I get that, you know, you've even gone the path of healing yourself, getting rid of all that baggage from past relationships. And that's why your focus is completely on career. And, and then the next, I get that, you know, your love, those, those dreams and desires and love are going to start to manifest for you because, because you've done all of your work. So I'm getting for, a, a large number of you, this is to, to signify that just the time to have faith, have hope. This is to let you know that, that your hopes, your dreams, those prayers that you have um, and you've had for a while, they are being answered. So the challenges that you've been experiencing, because I do get it's been, it's been a challenging road to get to where you are now, just know that those are going to quickly fade away into the past. They, they will be beyond you this is the time, you are at the end of the tunnel, you are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So you, so you really can wish upon that star and know that it is going to start to come true for you. And I do get for a number of you, it's not just dreams in your, in your love sector. I mean, I get for all of you that this is message for, yes, it is talking about your love life, but I get for a number of you, it's talking about your love life in other areas as well, your love life, your career, your love life, your family dreams. I, I get that it's multiple areas, and I do get that it is going to start happening for you because you've done, you've done your work. Now, for some of you, they're saying that there's still a little bit of work you have to do because the last piece that's holding you back is some releasing work that you're going to have to do. So let's go into these. So when you look at this, this is, you know, share the love. He's, he's holding the heart in the palm of his hand. I get that you, you do hold the path to, to divine love, to great love. You do hold it in the palm of your hand, but, but I get for a number of you, that's, that's, you know, you've been so focused on that, that you've actually blocked yourself. Because I get that a number of you, you've had a lot of anxiety and stress and worries, thinking, oh, it's never going to happen. Or, you know, if you're in a relationship and, you know, things haven't been going very well, fearing the worst. So all those fears, the worry, the anxiety, the stress, it's actually been blocking you. It's been blocking new relationships from coming in. It's been blocking, um, for some of you that are in new relationships from going to that next level. And for some of you, it, it's been causing some conflict in your relationship. So what I'm getting is, is that to release those, those anxieties, those fears, those worries, to really let it go, release it, and, and start having fun. You know, join a, a community like meetup group, go do some activities that you enjoy, start focusing on you. Because what I'm getting is for some of you that this is a message for, that take your focus off of love because they've got love taken care of. You know, you, you have love in the palm of your hand, but you have to stop focusing on that because you're blocking yourself from that. So stop focusing on it. I, I'm getting for those of you in that situation, just go, have fun, do things, do activities, get involved. Join a group, an outdoors group that goes hiking, join a group that plays cards, whatever you're into, join a group, meet, make some new friends, just start having fun and just focus on you. Don't worry about love. Don't worry about when you're going to meet someone. Don't worry about when it's going to happen. For some of you, I get that in a new relationship, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, when's this going to, you know, happen the same, you know, when's this going to go to the next level? Like you've been, you know, dating someone for, you know, a year and it's just not really going anywhere. So you're completely starting to doubt it and think it's never going to happen. Stop worrying about it that because just let that take care of itself. Because again, your, your worries and fears are blocking it. Just let that be. If it's meant to be, it will be. And just go have fun and focus on you. Because I'm getting if you focus on you and you just stop worrying and caring about the romantic relationship part, that piece of the puzzle is just going to fall into place divinely. And you don't have to do anything for it. All you need to do is just go have fun. Focus on you, have fun, and everything else will fall into place. Next card we have is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you know how they were saying some of you still have a little bit of work, like your dreams are going to come true, um, but that difficult situation is because you still have some releasing work to do. So I get for some of you that, you know, your love life will improve, you know, you get the worries about meeting someone, you will meet someone, they do have someone for you, but, but the thing is you have to first release your ex because your ex lover, you're still like energetically connected to them. And I mean, even though you may not actually be physically seeing them, 
your ability to attract a new lover has been negated because because of that energetic connection you still have to to your ex lover. So you really truly have to completely let them go. I mean, I, I get for a number of you, you're not even sitting and pining over them anymore. You're just kind of you know over it, and you think you've let them go, but you haven't. And that then that's what's holding you back. And for a small number of you, I do, I do get that you're kind of holding on to the ex lover, you know, having this false hope. Um, and again, that may be part of, actually, for some of you, that's part of the not seeing things clearly. You're just not accepting things for how they are. That that person's not coming back to you. They're not meant for you. They're someone else. You're holding on to some false hope because you're just not seeing, seeing things as they are and accepting them, letting it go and moving on. So what I'm getting is, for those of you that need to release your ex, and, and you can do that. You can have like a little ceremonial thing where, you know, you write them a letter, you know, releasing them, releasing the energy, and then you can burn it when you're done. For some of you, it can be as simple as a, a prayer, you know, praying that God comes in. And Archangel Raphael, he is the, the romance as well as the healing Archangel. To ask him to help come in and completely break, and also Archangel Michael because he cuts ties. Come and completely break the ties and connections with your ex-lover and it'll be done. And for some of you that need a little more deeper work, you can go see a healer. Um, but you are going to have to break the tie with, with the ex. And again, for some of you, it doesn't even have to be like an ex-husband. So, so maybe you had a short-term relationship with someone, but you're still energetically connected to that ex-lover and you may, may be thinking, okay, I don't know what's holding me back. Why am I not getting a relationship? Why are my dreams not coming true? What's, what's got me stuck? Am I trapped? Well, it's because, you know, you do build connections with lovers when you're with them. So you may not think that it was really that significant because you're only with a person for a short time, but it is that, that thing that's holding you back. So you are going to have to do the work to release that person. And again, for those of you that you fall in the boat where it's going to be fairly easy. I mean, it really could be a simple prayer, a letter, um, and it'll be done so that you can move forward and stop being blocked. And the last card we have is stay optimistic about your love life. And at the bottom it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I'm getting a number of you. You're just you're just really thinking. So so I'm getting for those of you that are single. You're really afraid that it's not going to happen. You know, you keep hoping and hoping and you know, you're not seeing anything happen. It's getting you into this dark negative place. But what they're saying is is that thought process of yours is actually influencing, you know, the outcome, you meeting someone, your love life satisfaction, that worry is, is what's holding you back. So if you can shift into optimistic thinking, so if you can just have faith and know that it is going to happen, then it will. And for some of you that, you know, you had this ex and, you know, so all of your hopes and dreams, you know, were completely dashed. Um, so you've lost your faith in love. You, you want to have a relationship with someone, but you know, you, you just, you've lost all faith and hope because you've let, you've been so disappointed, but they're wanting you to turn around your thinking, get back into some positive thinking, because you know, if you have faith that real love is possible, it will happen. And I'm getting that they do have someone for you, but it's going to take you changing your mindset in order to get there. So, you know, take some action steps to being positive. Um, go have some fun, enjoy yourself. But, you know, if, if you're single, or even for some of you that are in a relationship, for some of you, you know, you're in a relationship, you've been hurt and disappointed so many times um, that your relationship, it's, it's stagnant, it, you know, the spark's gone because you're just not positive about them and the relationship anymore. Because I do get, you just, you've been disappointed so many times that you just don't look at it with joy anymore. So I, I'm getting that, for those of you in that situation, and also for those of you that are single, you can t start turning things around by, you know, visualizing yourself as being, you know, romantically satisfied and happy and, 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 and visualizing a positive relationship. For those of you that are single, you know, do a vision board or a list, write down what it is that you desire in a companion, have faith that it's going to happen. And then just, you know, look at that periodically and just know that, okay, that's what's going to come and stay positive and have faith in the meantime, have fun and it will happen. And for those of you that are in that situation where you're with a partner and, and things just aren't going well, I mean, I don't get that it's huge arguments, but just not going well, you kind of lost the spark because you are in a state of, you know, after being disappointed a number of times, you're just not optimistic about it anymore. So 
what I'm getting is with it you could do to bring that spark back is is you know write a letter you don't you don't you don't have to give it to your partner but what you can do is write a letter and say you know I feel disappointed because of this and this I felt hurt because of this and then let it go let all that go give it to God burn it so that you've you know ceremonially given up those feelings so that you can move forward and then just be positive and optimistic that okay that's all gone today's a new day today we start over and today today we move forward into that dream come true so let that junk go know that today begins something new you will get that romance that relationship that you desire you will bring that spark back in um, and your dreams will be coming true so um, I look forward to any comments feedback that you have many thanks to all of you for your subscriptions and fill with a lot of love joy and blessings